And I believe that one of the things that we have uh, uh, missed is that there's an order of presumption here. And, the, and the, it appears that the presumption that the courts in their shoes and with their level of knowledge of their own law, it appears that the presumption that the courts are acting in probate, the surrogate courts, and thereby by have a certain immunity and that we are presumed to be dead, lost, abandoned and that uh, we are intestate appears to be the first and primary presumption that we need to rebut. As to the presumptions of slavery, the presumptions that we are a, a creature, the presumptions that we are a pauper, they need to be handled through the deed which is the revised ecclesiastical deed that should now follow after the will and testament. So this is our thinking based on everything that we are seeing. And I hope that answers it for you, Guest 28. But through the deed, the ecclesiastical deed, absolutely, we wish to rebut that presumption. I'm going to take the next caller, and please, if you want to speak, uh, just click star 8 and uh, hash 8 and uh, come into the queue. So here's the next uh, caller coming in. Northeast California. Northeast California, can you hear us? Hello? You're just Hello, a bit Frank? quiet. Can you, can you speak up a bit? Hello, Frank, can you hear me? Yes, that's better. Uh, hello, this is uh, Jamie from, uh, I'm in uh, Orland, California. I, I just had a question. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I wasn't prepared for the, uh, I, I didn't know if I had gotten in the queue or not. Um, but I, I just had a question about, uh, do you know anything about the uh, ICC, the uh, International... The, U the UCC, you mean? No, no, the ICC, the International Criminal Court. Uh, I, I've only vaguely gone through their material, yes. I, I, I know that, um, for example, uh, they make the presumption that you, if you don't have your own policy force, that they will um, act for you. But um, under international law, uh, it really is regarded as a private arbitration court for private members or for private members to go after someone who is outside of the club like uh, Gaddafi. I, I don't know too much about their operations other than the fact that they've made you know, international headlines as the preferred uh, venue for prosecuting, prosecuting uh, alleged war criminals, yeah? Right, okay. Yeah, I, I had come across it uh, when I was studying uh, David Wayne Miller's uh, website. I don't know if you're familiar with his work <clears throat> or not, but um, he had I mentioned am? something about it. So um, a anyway, I was also interested to, to, to ask you, uh, do you know anything uh, about this uh, quantum language this, I was studying on David yes. Wayne Miller, um, and I'm I'm wondering if you if if you feel that that holds any weight for uh, the processes that we might be doing uh, in in Acadia uh, to apply this quantum language. Okay, well, a couple of things. Uh, let me let me start by um, viewing it from the from the perspective of a. Roman agent, a person in the Western legal system. There is no acknowledgement in the statutes, the procedures, or any of the records of the United States or any other country that recognizes um, the claims of uh, David uh, Wynn Miller's system as valid. In fact, on the history of the cases brought forward in various jurisdictions, uh -huh. it appears that the bar, at least, thoroughly repudiates the validity of everything that is being claimed in the David Wynn Miller technology. There is no precedent or acknowledgement that at all can be regarded as credible. Now, having said that, the same can be said to Eucadia documents. I wouldn't say that it's been repudiated uh, to the same ex extent because it, we're not 
claiming that kind of uh, writing language. But the same can be uh, charged by UKADA and the same can be charged by a lot of, of, of systems because they are seen as private. They're not seen as part of their public system. Right. Okay. okay. So that's the first thing. It's a private tool and cannot be seen as public. So you can't write public documents in David Wynne Miller's system and submit them and expect them to work. That is not how they accept public documents. You follow so far? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now the question I, then is... I was, I, was hmm? under the, I was under the impression that the that the, his, his system was uh, being respected by... Them. Yeah, well, that is unfortunately misinformation that gets spread around, which is which is most unfortunate, because okay, that is uh, that that is deliberately misleading. Okay. You cannot write public documents and public forms in his language and expect it to be on it. It is not the form that they accept. They don't accept that form. They don't. Okay. okay. It's w well established. So the question then is, if I'm writing a private document in his technology because public documents won't work if I'm writing a private document and, and, and just if anyone says hold oh, a second here we go and you're claiming something what about Ikea I also accepted that they're not recognising Ikea documents as public either because they're not Ikea right. is not a Roman document it's a private document so Ikea and Damon Miller and anyone that, that is doing private stuff had the same issue now the question is as a private document, does it achieve anything? And then you get to the question of what is language? Language is communication. Prepositions and grammar are the clothes you wear. So the easiest analogy for me to say it is in all the jurisprudence, they state when it comes to language of its own accord, intent is what uh, jurisprudence is, uh, seeks to identify. Intent, that is the meaning of the words, not their arrangement, nor their punctuation. Have you heard that before, intent? Yeah? I have, yeah, uh, of course. Okay. Yeah. So, so uh, what are we it, uncovering? It yeah. yeah, what are we uncovering when we, when we go through the words? You know, I spend and have spent years and many, many good scholars have spent years uncovering the meaning of words. David's system says the meaning and the intent is not important, which contradicts hundreds of years of jurisprudence. He says it's not relevant. It's not relevant. My technology makes it not relevant. My technology says that it's spoken forward, backwards, sideways and backwards and forwards and, it, and if, it's, if, if it's done that way, then that works. Well, there's one thing that, that we agree on in the Roman, well, the Roman system and Ukada agree on. Intent is everything. Yes. So I think I've pretty much covered some key points there, I think, in terms of David's stuff. You know, full marks to having a go, but boy, going down the wrong alley at 1,000 miles an hour is, uh, is pretty crazy if you go in the wrong direction. Yeah? Right. Well, I did. I did kind of end up with a headache after trying to study that stuff for a while. It was challenging. So well, it's Jabberwocky. Uh, it's gobbledygook. It's it's gobbledygook. <laughs> exactly. No, it is. Let's let's talk for what it is. I mean, I, I mean, you know, it, yeah. the the math the math aspect aspect of it is you know quite fascinating. as was trying to understand. But but even that's wrong. Look, the universe doesn't well, look. If I say to you, awareness loves life, as a statement of absolute truth in terms of the respect and acknowledgement of the divine to you, awareness loves life, yeah? Yes. And I s summarize that as A-L-L, -L, yeah? Right. Then yeah. you'd have to be completely bonkers to believe that life loves awareness means the same thing. You'd have to be a mad hatter. No, right, yeah? okay, right. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. yeah thank, thanks for he, He's come up with something that, yeah. that has no credibility in law, no credibility in nature, 
and it's just selling it because you know, it, it, and it's it's insanity. It's absolute insanity. But, it has no foundation. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I just you know. I mean, difficult to understand why someone would make, would make such uh, out, outlandish claims. You know, as he was as he was making as far as um, you know, on some of the audios and things that what he, he was saying how they were endorsed by different governments. Oh, 200, 250 governments or something. You know. <laughs> anyway, so I, yeah. Anyway, I mean, I've got, I think I've done it enough. I think I've, you know. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really, I really appreciate you explaining that. You know, it was, it was, it, I thought that it may have some significance to something, but well, it just, it, it's like Dracula. It never dies. I hope people wake up to it, but it seems to keep having a resurrection, and uh, you know, right, yeah, I hope. It's, 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 will wake up and, and realise that just because people say it doesn't make it so and that, you know, common sense. And we always say this, everything, absolutely everything in Ukada is based on this premise. Competence and don't believe it. Read it, use it, and if it's useful, great. But it is not an act of faith that you have to believe Ukada in order to use it. It's not, it's a model. So whenever someone requires you to believe something and leave your brain at the door, then that worries the hell out of me. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Look, thank you. And uh, yes, I said, I think I've yeah, thrown enough. Well, you uh, know, you, you, I, I really respect your opinion. I, I appreciate you uh, clearing yeah. that up for me. I don't have to investigate that situation. Right. So. Good on you. Thanks. See ya. All right. Uh, before I get to the next call up, I'll just um, I'll just go through a couple more questions here. Uh, no, no doubt that I'll uh, uh, be noted for my comments there, but I do feel very strongly about people that that um, say on the one hand that it's they're, they're uh, level-headed and logical, and uh, and yet they're requiring an act of faith, the fundamental act of faith, and secondly, they're requiring people to suspend common sense. Um, that is not and will never be a feature of what we're doing, ever. Um, okay, Galactic Sojourners asked this question before and the elements have come through. So I just want to cover this question which he's, which he's put in. Unfortunately, he can't speak, which is why he's typed it in. So Galactic Sojourners said this, um, uh, how will, he, he's looking to salvage certain elements within uh, the existing system and on the success he's asking, um, how does that fit into the Eucadius system? The, the Eucadius system, and I, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend everyone please go and have a look at the first let's say, the first 15 articles of the Covenant of the One Heaven. And it's, it's really worth going and having a look. And when you go through that, you'll see a number of things, a number of presumptions have made. Now, the key presumption is everyone living in deceased is a member of One Heaven. We are all a member of One Heaven. Secondly, we all belong to communities. That's just a... a, a a statement of fact. It's not an act of faith. It's just a statement of fact. And that we are all shareholders of the Commonwealth. Okay? The thing that they deny from us. The thing that they steal from us and take from us. In UKDA, we are all shares. And that's not communism or socialism. It's just a, a fact that no one can take what is entitled to you away from you. That's not communism. If anything, that should be called true Capitalism, it's, it's, it's your entitlement. Now, having said that, you'll see at the opening of, these, of this covenant that as an absolute fact, on the dawning of a covenant that unites all of heaven and ends hell, that there has been a conquest of darkness. There's a conquest of evil. There is a ending of the darkness and the lies and that is a physical war that has ended and on this planet and in the other sphere there is a occupational force a force of awareness that is trickling through all of us 
all around the world as we speak. 